know, you are uh, putting this movie together. You gave me a, a description of what sounds rather bizarre, but it sounds like something you'd be involved in. You say you hope to get... Well, we have. Uh, it's called My Favorite Year, and it's at MGM, and uh, Michael Gruskoff and Mel Brooks are producing it. Norman Steinberg wrote it. And it is... Uh, it's a it takes place in 1954, and it's a story of someone like Errol Flynn right. meeting Mel Brooks on your show of shows. <laughs> and Flynn did actually guest on the Martha Ray show and some other shows just before the end of his, right. before he died. And um, it's the story of some guy ending his career and life, right. a famous swashbuckling hero, and a great energetic comedy writer like, right. like Mel. That sounds like a... Yeah. Strange combination. Yeah, it's 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 interesting, and mm -hmm. I'm excited and and of course frightened at the same yeah, time. Yeah, because you're directing. Yeah. Now, when say say Paul is on a picture and you're not working, I'm sure that happens sometimes where one or either of you are. Mm -hmm. She's doing a picture now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now suppose you weren't working. Mm -hmm. Now do you reverse the roles and uh, plays house husband. Uh, is that a lousy word, isn't it? No. Yeah. Well, they say well, housewife, but I I did it all the time anyway. I mean uh, uh, that. Uh, what do you mean? Well. I, um, I like the house to be in certain condition and in a certain uh, shape. I guess I'm a little insane on the point. Like um, the odd couple? You're the... I'm, I did play that part on the road with Dan Daly, and I was perfectly cast. Um, uh, Paula found out about this later, a couple of years after we were married, of course, because she wouldn't have married me if she knew right at the start. Are you um, a really neat... I mean, the kind well, of... Well, I'll give you an example. Um, this is modified a little bit now, fortunately, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Right. Um, she's Sicilian and has thrown a colander at me from time to time. <laughs> yeah. uh, she, uh, she will do, for example, she'll clean a frying pan at night after dinner, do you know? Uh -huh. Only um, it's not real clean as far as I'm concerned. Um, she, uh, she thinks she's cleaned it, right. you know? I understand. Uh, she puts it in some uh, what I consider to be tepid water. Uh, which is already dirty from a few other dishes, if you right. don't mind me Swish, saying. Swishes it. Swishes it around, runs some filthy sponge around it, and puts it in the rack. Now, in the past, what I would do... See, I, I, I'm usually s uh, sort of standing in the shadows mm -hmm. in the corner of the kitchen, sort of watching her. Uh, that, it used to bother her really? when she'd turn around and see me sort of standing there, staring at her. It's a and natural reaction, Yes, you know. now, uh, I would stand there, and then I'd come out of these shadows, and in the most polite way I could possibly say, I don't think that frying pan is real clean. Uh. And she would say something like, uh, uh, well, since you're going to be wearing it in a minute. <laughs> Why don't you? It doesn't matter how clean it is, does That's it? Right. Well, now, you see, I'm much, much smarter. You've changed a little dip I've diplomatic I've changed. Now, I'm right? much more diplomatic now. I'm still in the shadows. Right. I'm still back there. Uh -huh. If anyone turned around, they'd find me standing mm. back there, watching her. But I don't say anything now. See, I'm real smart about this. I let her swish this frying pan around, filthy as it is, right. and put it into this filthy dish rack. Then she goes to bed real early, because, for example, right now she's working. Right. And she goes upstairs to bed. When everyone's, when, when everyone's asleep... Don't and tell the, me. Yes. And the oh. house is real quiet. This is... Don't tell me. Yes. Well... Me and my little elves, you, you see. Know. <laughs> yes. We clean up that frying pan. You really clean it. I get that thing sparkling clean. There's little bits of egg in the bottom of that thing. <laughs> you you want to face that thing in the morning? She, of course, comes down to breakfast the next morning and says, Hey, look at the job I did on that yeah, thing. She doesn't. <laughs> it was me. So All of have... it's been me. All these years it's been me. <laughs> <laughs> That's reason. why our house is in the shape That's it is. Nice that... and neat and clean. That's with why... everything hung up. Everything in its place. <laughs> It never was her. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's about time. And that goes for your cat, too. Right. right. I mean, you are really a, yeah. a, a fetty. That would be called a fetish, she, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. Uh, she, she bought are you good with waxy buildup? I mean, does that, uh, does that set you There's off? There's no waxy buildup in our Of course house. there isn't. Of course. I'm sorry. Those floors are spick and span. She bought clothes for the kids the other day. You want to hear this story? Sure. You want to hear this story? Well, that's... Oh, shouldn't a mother buy clothes for her children? Sure. You know what? What? She bought those clothes home for the seven-year-old and for this two-and-a-half-year-old. Right. Guess what? The clothes fit. <laughs> but they fit perfectly. You understand what I'm saying? I think so. One month from now, the... they grow. I got to go buy new clothes for those kids. 
Well, what do you want to buy the child? I want uh, those to be very big clothes for those children. <laughs> That's right, because in, in, over a weekend, they can grow half an sure, inch or something. Sure, all she did was get clothes that fit, and they looked just swell. For... What can we, anybody can do that. That's right. But to think ahead and plan you ahead. You've got to think ahead. So they're not obsolete right. in a week. You have any idea where I'm going to go tonight after this show? No. <laughs> I, I would suggest maybe there's a triple feature downtown L.A. somewhere. Yeah. You can stay there until she's... So do you, you Do you draw the line at your house at any particular point? Oh, no. No, no. no. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> no, no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, Mrs. Carson can throw the pan in the river. As far as I'm concerned, and I, I say that's fine. You clean it any way you want. Uh, uh, what no, about I, what about when you do the shopping at the supermarket? I don't. Uh, you don't? Not too often. No. No. I You're mean, not in there shopping every day? No. Sometimes I will go in and and, and pick up some uh, you know survival food in case. Uh, <laughs> in case a couple of jokes. Get, get some jokes at Ralph's. I go to the. The frozen joke department pick up some jokes, but you you shout you actually yes you I, do that too I, I I do that too and I get that right. Well, what do you mean? Yeah. Do, do you use coupons and all that, or look for the specials? I do use some coupons. Yes, <laughs> yes. I have a Sanka coupon right now that's worth forty cents. <laughs> so. <laughs> will Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I've been looking for all my life. We're talking clean and neat. <laughs> well, You'd be very happy with me. That's all right. yes, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> as long as we can communicate, that's the main thing. That's the main Talk thing. Talk it out. Right. Talk it yeah, out. Everything out. Never go to bed angry. No. We'll be right back after this.